Want to look as fit as Josh Truesdale wearing polo, as sexy as Bryce Thompson on the cover of Men's Health, or have a body as buff as Chad White in this Luomo ad? It's a full-time job to be in tip-top shape. So Chad White, Bryce Thompson, and Josh Truesdale are all here to share their industry secrets. Welcome, guys. Thanks for, Thanks for being here. Are you kidding me? Please tell me it's hard, though. Please. Yeah, of course it is. It's a constant, constant workout. You've got to keep at it, right? It's also about maintenance, balance between the diet and the training. Not only just working out nonstop, but kind of being able to maintain it all year round. We don't have get ready for summer or take a break during winter. It's just always be in shape. So you've got to find a real solid balance. I'd say the key is probably cross training. Um, you want to incorporate different types of things like cardio, um, uh, physical training, uh, whatever you're into, whether it's biking or swimming. Um, just things to stay active, I think it's most important. How many times a week are you guys doing this? And for how many hours a day? We probably do it like seven days a week because it, it becomes more of a lifestyle because we enjoy it. And like for me, if I don't work out, I feel like my mind doesn't, it isn't as clear and, it, and like my days run smoother and everything if I'm working out because it pumps like endorphins and and everything. Right, so. it makes you feel good. Is there yeah. a special workout regimen that you guys swear by every day, or do you mix <clears throat> it up? I swear by running. Running is the best way to stay in shape. If you can yeah. put in the miles, you're, you're good to go. Um, cardio, training, outdoor, indoor, whatever it is, as long as your heart rate's up, you're killing those miles, you can't go wrong. Uh, what about, oh, go ahead, John. Well, I, I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and one of the things that stuck with me, uh, one of my, I was sick, and I wasn't feeling that well, and I, you know, I was like, ah, you know, I don't know if I want to do this. And he was just said, shut up and train. <laughs> and so, like, whenever I don't feel like doing something, I just tell myself that. And regardless if it's running or doing anything, I go and train and I feel better after. All right, well, we want to see what you guys got. We don't want to just talk about it. So, Bryce, I think you're up first. Let's start from head to toe. Let's show us the arms. Okay, yeah, I'll, st I'll start with arms. Say, you've got to take that jacket off. You can't <laughs> keep that on. we got to see the guns. Here we go. So, for arms, I've prepared a little bit of a, a hotel regime. That's uh, this is kind of what I travel with. It kind of keeps me sane and safe when I'm on the road and there's not always a gym, there's not always a place to work out. So this kind of is the best thing for arms for me. And with arms, you've got, it's not just one muscle. You've got inside, outside, triceps, Right, triceps. I see them all. So for example, I like to start by just kind of doing a straight bicep curl. And from there, you can really just you can set your own pressure with these bands, which is great. The further you step, the better. And you can curl accordingly. And the trick is not, people say, go slowly and focus. But for me, it's, you can go as fast as you want, like a sprinter on a track. They don't sprint slowly for training. They go full speed. So you can go as quick as you want, as long as your form is correct. And with these bands, you can also incorporate triceps. And how many do you do? Until the pain kicks in, I guess. <laughs> Until it hurts. Yeah, and when, it hurt, when it hurts, you do a few more sets and then you call it a day. Then you know it's working. Yeah, and, and it's important to get your form right and to get your balance. It's all about being balanced. You don't want to be too far forward, too far back. And be hard on yourself. And if you're into using weights, I see you guys got me some weights here. That's right. You can also focus on twisting right out and bring it right up. That will get you a proper shape to the arm and back. And once again, you want to do forearm this way, hand down, hand up, and also hammer curls, which is just straight up and down. But a lot of people use their back, and you don't want to use your back. Yeah, you notice you're isolating all the way it. through. Yeah, so isolate of, the muscle to make yeah, sure. Yeah, a lot of people kind of get involved in it, which is it's a big mistake. Just stand nice and steady, bend your knees if you need to, and you can really just focus on the arms. It's better right, to drop cheating. the weight if you're cheating. Yeah. You want to drop the weight, even if you're doing no weight. Like it's better to get the form right because right, you're otherwise you're not group. doing anything. That's it. Okay, Josh, you were mentioning the back. Don't don't cheat with the back. So let's see what you're actually supposed to be doing with your. Back. Uh, well, I like to incorporate like full body mo movements, uh, things that re are like real life that you're going to be able to utilize later. Instead of a lot of people refer to them as beach muscles. Uh, you know where you're just sculpting. Sculpting. It's like I like to have functional strength too. Um, so uh, it was actually a combination between um, back and chest, and uh, basically what you do is you just do a regular push up into a traditional row from the ground. So you want to get part your legs a little bit, and you want to go down, and you want to do a push up. Now when you come back up, come through, and pull through a row. So you're combining two workouts, and which also incorporating a plank, so you're hitting everything throughout your body. Brilliant. So you come back down, and just do that with the other arm. 
and you just do it the same way you would do anything else. Through, and this is this is something that I use a lot, and it targets multiple muscles and it also isolates, focuses on the core and the chest. The fact that you can speak while doing that, I'm giving you so many kudos right now. That's incredible. I'll show abs and legs, which yeah. hurts. People don't like to do them, but I mean, for a good house, you need a good foundation. And for me, I like to do squats uh, and lunges for the legs and like for your butt. If you want to like have a good stable like core, it also works everything, but with no weights, like your feet are a little further than your shoulders width apart. And with no weights, I, I like to go with my hands above my head and just go straight down with your back straight. Cause if you go over, it's going, you could hurt your back if you have like too much weight on your back. But if you go with your, your, your back straight up and go up to parallel, and, and this then is the, the one all the ladies want to know too, because it's good for the thighs. Yeah, and then, so that's a squat. And then lunges, I like to have my hands up here. And you do a lunge and you, you come with your, your knee down to parallel and you squeeze with your butt and your thighs at the same time, which this is <laughs> kind of hard to balance. You're squeezing right you know, now, I can tell you're If squeezing. you notice his knee, his knee doesn't go over his toes ever when he's squatting or when he's lunging. Yeah. So you, it doesn't put pressure on the knee. Because if, yeah, if I do it too, if I go like that, that's, that could hurt my knee because that's improper. So if your foot goes out far enough and up, and that'll work your butt, your thighs, your calves, and your core. And then you could add weights if you want, like that. I mean, that's harder. And some guys are training, they go like this and come up and that's, core, that's everything, stabilizing. And it's cardiovascular, because your thighs are such a big muscle. They require so much blood and oxygen. That's why you're always out of breath doing squats and lunges, because it actually gets your heart rate higher than any other muscle group that I can think of. I'm that's sweating. great tips. OK, <laughs> yeah. I know we've talked a lot about working out, but come on, Chad, you got to sit back down. Because uh, <laughs> what we really want to know is what the heck you guys eat. Yeah. Is there, oh. is there like any sort of rules that you absolutely follow like uh, on a daily basis, your number one? like? Number, yep. number one rule for me is stay away from starches. It's not carbohydrates to the devil, it's starch. Any kind of white flour or white rice, pastas, breads, um, kind of anything that takes a long time to get off the system or out of the body, stay away. Uh, high burning foods are like your vegetables, your, your lean meats, um, and there are grains like a, a whole grain rice or I mean, sorry, a wild rice or something like that that really gives you energy, but it also comes off quickly. It doesn't store on the body you can eat them and not have to work out the same day. Sugar is a big one. Yeah, the devil. Yeah, sugar just kills. Like, it'll leave you so tired after a workout. I mean, you have a big spike right off the bat, but then, you know, quickly it, it fades away and you're left drained. And my problem is I eat cookies and <laughs> stuff like that, like late at night, and it's true, like I really do. And it's the hardest thing for me to get away, and I know it's my biggest vice. Like, that and eating late is... Eating late is so bad for you. Like, yeah. you want to eat no, no more like three hours before bed. Yeah, give your body time to digest the food before you fall asleep and it goes into storage. Also, a big kick is sometimes having a coffee before you work out. It's great. It's proven to work wonders. Gives your heart rate a kick. That's my number one thing is I always put in a coffee before a workout. I notice that um, whenever I'm working out a lot during the day, I crave the things that my body needs to replenish itself. So. If I get done with a big workout, I don't want to go eat McDonald's. I'm like, where's a, I need chicken breast and I need some vegetables, like right now. And you just start craving the items that you need. Um, you also don't want to punish yourself. You don't want to work 45 minutes on a treadmill to go and put a burger in and throw it all away. You've just hurt your body. You've just been through that. You know, don't throw it all away. Stick with the diet, your broccolis, your vegetables, drink a lot of water, and try and pH balance your system. So if you're eating a lot of proteins, you've got to get the greens in to balance out, otherwise you become very acidic and it shows in your skin and you fatigue, you don't sleep well, all because your, your balance is off. Even if you're eating lean, you could be going on a sliding scale. So that's why sometimes you see those really big bodybuilder guys in the gym and they've maybe got bad skin or something, it's because their protein levels are too high and they're not balancing out. So I say it's it's a solid balance. What are you like at parties though? Can you guys drink, eat? You yeah, know, of course. I know well, you have cookies sometimes, but do you mainly just stay away from it? I mean, they say like bottles, what cigarettes and worse. we we live a little. You know, you got to live like once a week. You have to let your body like eat whatever you want. You know, once in a while, like 
we do that. I, we're together, you yeah. know, and we're part of a, we'll uh, pig out. Part of the, we're at the same age, we're all at Seoul, so we're like kind of part of a family. So we get together. Sometimes we see each other at the agency. We talk about like, you know, what we're doing in the week, what's going on. We get together. I think uh, it's good to limit it the, yeah. like to like a special occasion as opposed to like, you know, when you're at dinner and you can be like, oh, no, I, I don't need to have this, so I'll wait. Have and you ever then, tried a crazy fad diet? A <laughs> uh, fad diet? Uh, like juicing or something? I've done, um, oh, man. Cleanse? Uh, well, I was gonna say the yeah uh, yeah a cleanse just to like I looked into the blood get group everything. diet for a bit, but I'm maybe paleo so it's kind of like everything the paleo <laughs> diet it's like a um, caveman it's known as a caveman diet it's uh, that was a pretty good one that I did I, I pretty much that's pretty much what I do now um, just not on necessity but that's healthy that's like not crazy like I'm just no it's not crazy cayenne, at all. pepper and water and lemon oh I did no that. never did. I did that what is your one bit of advice you could leave us with. To be healthy. I wouldn't call you regular. Aww. But you're sweet. <laughs> it's find a balance. Just do your thing. Find whatever you're into and just go balls of the wall. Don't don't stop for anybody. Yeah. Don't stop. Just do your thing. Enjoy your workout. Like it's you find something you it's enjoy. For you. Like, it's not yeah. for anyone else. It's for you. Your body. You gotta live in it. Like I cycle, we cycle, cycle. you know, jujitsu. Like we fought together, we gotta ride together. It's yeah. like, just get involved, get your friends together too. Don't always do it alone.